ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so if you guys do not know, um, this past week, Joe Button, honey, he was definitely his feelings on Love and Hip Hop New York. So they were all in, I think, the Dominican Republic. It was the whole cast. And so Joe Button decides out of nowhere to confront Safari Samuels. And so a lot of people were really surprised by this. Like, damn, what's going on? You know, why are they getting into it? And Joe Button goes off on Safari because Safari bought Erica Mena to the vacation. And if you guys don't know, Erica Mena and Sin Santana used to mess around. So for some reason, that has Joe all the way bothered. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this VH1 clip. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Safari, you don't feel like you owe me and my lady an apology? For what? I'm asking. No, for what? So you have zero idea of anything in the universe that could exist that you could possibly owe her and I an apology about? Nah, I'm lost. So you don't remember the phone call that you and I had last week about homegirl when I asked you if you were flying her out here because that's my girl's old work. So that was a man call between you and I. That was a call for you to hit me and let me know what was happening so I can know how to move and dictate my household in the appropriate manner. What we talking about, though? Erica's here. Oh! I called Safari before this trip. I asked him if he was bringing Erica Mina. He said no. Mano asked him. He said no. So you can imagine our surprise when all of us picked up our phone and saw none other than Erica Mina hanging out and tanning at our resort. I guess the, my new question is, why don't you feel like you owe us an apology? Well, when we had that convo, that that wasn't the scenario of me bringing, bringing my girl here. And when the situation changed, you got my number. That was a simple text. If you care about the relationship, you're not a stranger to me. We talk. I've been to your home. You have been you to mine. You my child. You, you put, yeah, I, I don't take these types of things lightly at all, my I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. So I'm trying to address it this way. Any other I swear to God, this would go different. This would go a different way. So when you run around with home, girl, have a blast, my But when it's in that close proximity of my family, it's a security breach. I don't play family games. You know, last time I checked, I don't need permission from anyone to go anywhere, to bring anyone anywhere. I don't need permission for anything. It's my business and nobody's seeing her. Any, any of y'all seen her? I'm not asking what the f- you think about it. I don't give a f- about your views. Clearly your ideology is off. I'm not asking you something. I'm telling you, when you f- with my f- old f- you gonna respect my f- word, my n- This is the reason why I fell in love with Joe. He's passionate, he's strong, he's vocal. And then, you know, sometimes I hate that too. But for right now, I love it. It's nobody's business. Fam, if I'm putting f- in Nicki Minaj and I fly her out here, f- that's your business. It is what it is. Because now the way you come and clapping all that cursing, my n- I wouldn't come at you like that. You can still get your yeah, across you keep talking, and not talk like It's that. gonna go a different way. You hear me, my I'm not playing with you. Baby, listen. The f- type of attention Baby. fiend. Sh- no, this f- help my kid. I'll put this f- face in the sand. Don't play with me. All right, so you guys just watched that video. And this is a perfect dynamic of what I was saying. I think maybe like two years ago I did a video about this when, you know, Charlemagne is always going in on DJ Envy and calling him waffle colored and making it look like, you know, light-skinned dudes are so soft and weak and, you know, dark-skinned dudes are so hard. And, you know, that's just one of those colorism stereotypes. And I was saying, you know, I know some dark-skinned dudes who won't bust a damn grape. And I know some light-skinned dudes who are about that damn action, okay? And this is a perfect example of that. You know, Safari held his composure. He's definitely not a fighter. He did not want none of Joe. Meanwhile, Joe, you know, as light as he is, he's ready to fight. And he, you know, rah, 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 he's super aggressive. So you never underestimate somebody or judge them based off of their skin tone, okay? Because some of these damn light skins are just ratchet as hell and let a fight, okay? And then some of these damn dark skins are scary and just sit back and chill. So <laughs> so I just found that whole little dynamic funny. But um, 
you know, with the situation, I thought Joe was being very disrespectful. It wasn't that serious. And nobody would have even known that Erica Mena was even there had Joe Button not said anything. Well, now, Erica Mena, you know, you know, Erica Mena, you can't come for her. And she going to just sit back idly and not say shit. So what ended up happening is that, you know, a few of her fans were tweeting her like, damn, what is going on with Joe? You know, what happened? You know, why is he so mad? So somebody tweeted her and they were saying, hashtag, Love and Hip Hop New York. I really don't care for at Joe Button confronting I Am Safari. We ain't even know that I Am Erica Mena was there. Who cares? So Erica replies and she says, I don't get it, especially since no one really cared, let alone acts about Sin's whereabouts when he brought another female to my man's crib. Who cares? Somebody asks Erica Mena, did someone poke the bear? And Erica says, mention me enough like Candyman. I wasn't even bothering anyone. Not even on the show. Go figure. Let me go back to my real life now. So that's what Erica Mena had to say about the situation. Basically, she's being messy as always. And letting the world know that Joe has not been faithful and that he's been cheating on sin and brought a female to their home, which I think was really messy of her to say. But, um, you know, Joe really came off kind of arrogant, and I just felt like, you know, he was doing a bit much. I love him on his podcast because that's real life. But on the show, I do feel like he was kind of playing it up for cameras, maybe trying to, you know, come back for a second season. You know, who knows? But I just, I wasn't really feeling it. So this entire situation is messy, and I don't understand the whole drama of why Sin and Erica can't be on the same island together. You got on TV by being a, you know, supposed lesbian. Remember back then, she was so gay. Now, you know, she's with, you know, Joe, but whatever. That's how she got her claim to fame, was being Erica's girlfriend. So I find that very funny that, you know, when you needed to come on television, you didn't mind being around her and taking, you know, baths with her and, you know, playing up the whole lesbian thing. And now Erica can't even be on the same island with y'all. When she clearly said that she didn't even come out, nobody saw her, Nobody even really knew that she was there. She wasn't mingling with the cash. She was basically there to be with her man. But again, this is what happens when people just, you know, create fake relationships for television. So the whole situation is insane. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. How do you guys feel about Joe Button confronting Safari and just going off on him? And then how do you guys feel about the tea that Erica Mena was spilling that Joe Button was bringing another woman to their home? You know what I'm saying? That woman was not Sin Santana. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.